Hi Dave, I happen to have a steel corrugated six foot fence around two thirds of the periphery of my property. It starts near my shack but ends about a hundred yards away. The total length might be 500 feet. Any thought about an end fed or other configuration I might use to load that fence? Maybe just to receive antenna. This is from W. Wells. 3956 on which is a better receive antenna, long wire versus resonant antenna, 1006. It used to be that older receivers were built around the idea that the input was a voltage and they didn't care what the impedance was. Nowadays, that's not true. They're expecting a 50 ohm input. So you do need a tuner or something like that. Now, here's a big if. If that antenna is insulated from the ground, for example, you dig all the ground away from it just a little bit, and you've got wooden poles or something like that, you can insulate it from the ground. Yes, you can do what you're looking for. However, each piece of galvanized steel is only so long and then it overlaps the next piece. I would attach with a nut and a bolt using stainless steel hardware and a little piece of wire to connect one panel to the next all the way around. Now, you will need to feed that with an antenna tuner. The reason is because a long wire in order to feed a 50 ohm radio is going to need enough inductance or capacitance added to be 50 ohms when it comes into the radio. Now we tried something the other day in a recent video that we did as a supplemental video to one of my Ask Dave columns in QST. What we did was we took an automatic antenna tuner, remoted it where the beginning of the antenna was. This was the antenna right here. That's about 35 feet of line. And we just put that up to a pole and put the antenna tuner right at the end of this. So this went directly into the antenna tuner. There was no transmission line between the tuner and the antenna. Of course, there was transmission line between the radio and the tuner. And I just took a 12 volt battery out there to power the automatic antenna tuner. Loaded up just beautifully on all the bands we tried it on. Yes, you could do that. You want to get one of these remote antenna tuners like from LDG or call DX Engineering. They can recommend a tuner for you and you can try loading that up. Now, there's one caveat. That entire antenna becomes an RF hazard for anyone who touches it. Okay, I think you might be better off getting some small aluminum 10-foot poles, steel fence top rail. Okay, those aren't very expensive. Put up a few of those along that fence and string your long wire between them out and around. Okay, that way you don't have the RF hazard in the fence, which I think could be a deal breaker depending on condition. Otherwise, you'd have to mark it just like you mark an electric fence. So there you go. Until we next meet, 73.